But one day a phone call came from the White House. Clyburn was about to find himself at the scene of superpower diplomacy. December 8, 1987. Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev arrived in Washington for a summit meeting with President Reagan, the first to be held in America in nearly 15 years. The atmosphere in the room, it, it was electric. It was really exciting to sit there and look around and see the star-studded cast of characters from all over the world in every walk of life. Yes, Van was a little nervous before the performance. He says he always is before a performance. But when he walked out in that room, it was like he owned the room. He absolutely was the center of everyone's attention and played a beautiful classical program. As always, Clyburn opened his recital by playing the Star Spangled Banner. He had appeared at the White House for every president since Eisenhower. But this night was extra special, playing for the leaders of the two nations he loved so much. Shevardnadze, who was then foreign minister of the Soviet Union, was seated a row in front of me and across the room, and he turned around to me and went, so the Russians were pulling for him too. Since going on a sabbatical in 1978, Van Clyburn has not performed in public. And so for this, uh, your first public appearance, I believe, in nine years. <laughs> uh, yes. I think you know, by my constancy, how very deeply I love Russian people and your culture and your art. And you, you go with me always in my life. And it is for both my beloved president and for you that I'm so happy to do this. Thank you. when they wanted him to play some more and the atmosphere had lightened a little bit and he ended up playing Moscow Nights with the whole Russian entourage singing along. I did hear from some of my friends in the White House that it had been said that Gorbachev was noticeably warmer the next day than he had been before that very special evening. Once again, Clyburn was embraced by a Soviet leader. And again, he had helped take the chill off the Cold War. 